everybody, my name is Sol, I'm a geek and I'm Hispanic and today I'll be talking about my most anticipated films of 2018 well, animated films, so let's begin so I think my most anticipated movie for next year is oh wow, shocker but it's actually quite surprising because I do not love the first Incredibles like, I think it's enjoyable, there's so much to love about the first one but it's not something I'm like, it's my favorite Pixar film I think out of, you know, Pixar's latest sequels, this one the one that makes most sense you know, it's something that the story, you know, you can learn more about these very interesting characters and their progression for example, I didn't I think Finding Dory was enjoyable but I don't think it was a necessary sequel um, Cars again we didn't talk about the second cars. Who was that? I mean, sorry if you do like cars too. Sorry about that, but not a fan. Cars three overall was like good, whatever. But you know, and the Toy Story sequels were unbelievable. They're amazing. Uh, but this one, I think it's gonna be pretty good. I mean, I'm not expecting to love it. To be honest, I think it's gonna be quite enjoyable. See, um, if you don't want to know anything about details about the film, because some things have been announced, I would skip this part. But, so what do we know so far for The Incredibles 2 is that it's gonna, first of all, even though this film was released 13 years ago, about that time, there's no time difference. Like, it's literally five minutes after the first movie finished. I think it's fine. You know, I think with Toy Story, it was cool to see that aging because, you know, time frame fit perfectly with that. Um, from Andy being a little boy to then college kid which I think that works, but in this one I think it's great that they stay in the same time frame because honestly we don't know that much of Dash and Violet and so I think I hope in this new film we get to know them a bit more and because you know in the first one we kind of got more focused on the parents and in this one I would like to also know more about the kids we know, uh, you know in the first one they finished uh, that they were about to play this guy from the underground, this and that uh, I don't think he's gonna be the main villain I just, you know, I think it's just gonna be like one random guy they have to fight so maybe this is gonna be the first scene or whatever and then they move on to the next Something interesting about this film is that Helen, you know, Elastic Girl she's gonna be supposedly the main focus of this film which I think it's quite interesting You know, I think when this first film was the most strong was when all the family was together and I think in the end they just kinda learned that we're a team, this and that so I think it's kinda weirder than there's Swift switching the, you know, attention to just her um, I would have liked more attention to all of them together I bet we're gonna still have we're still gonna see Dash and Violet and uh, Bob I mean, I'm all about girl power and everything but it's just the other characters, they have a lot to offer too so I hope we also get to see more of them especially Jack Jack, Jack is gonna be uh, from what we've seen in the trailer, Bob finds out that Jack Jack has powers, so it's gonna be interesting. Um, I hope there's gonna be like a plot twist in that, not just. I, I hope it's just not for gags. I hope there's more to it. I'm excited to see who's a villain in this. I don't think Syndrome is coming back. Syndrome does come back. I feel it'll be like a cousin or something like that. What do you think? It's probably the villain. I feel like no one knows unless you've seen the film. But what are your predictions? Is it something someone new? Not really. We'll see. I'm excited to see Anna Mode again. I mean, her scenes in the first film are iconic. So, you know, it's a lot of pressure to bring that back. And talking about the boys' work, it's so nice that they have everyone back except, of course, Dash because the kid grew up. And what I've seen in the pictures, the animation is quite different. I mean, staying true to the original sources. But of course, since you have the new technology and everything, you know, also use it. So, you know, that thin line of like how much can we change and how much I feel like what they're gonna do is just have the original stuff and just polish it a bit more from what I've noticed in the pictures is the colors are more uh, saturated, more vibrant and I like that personally I thought Jack Jack looks super different in the teaser trailer and that's something I want to talk about the teaser trailer was a bit disappointing for me um, I think you know, this is a movie that is so highly anticipated like, in, like I don't you know, I think this is the most anticipated movie since Toy Story 3 because, I mean, Finding Dory was, you know, anticipated but it was mostly Ellen who wanted to see it um, many people, I mean, it did a bunch of money, that's for sure but I don't think that the hype was so big on, on Finding Dory but in this one, people be 
one inning and one inning for years and years and you know it's just kind of a bit oh, underwhelming to see that teaser trailer I hope we can soon uh, see the real thing and I'll definitely do a reaction for this uh, for this channel sometimes with sequels are like you know Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 2 were not that many years apart and this one's been years and years of anticipation for so many people so it's quite a lot of pressure for the studio so I hope they do it I, they do a good job um, I think it's a great thing now that in Disneyland uh, they're changing Paradise Pier to Pixar Pier and that's really cool because they changing um, the roller coaster screaming to the Incredicoaster, which I think it's quite cool. I mean, what do you think of the Incredibles too? I Up next, it's Wreck It Ralph breaks in the internet, something like that. Wreck It Ralph 2. I, I really like the first one. I really enjoyed the first Wreck It Ralph. I thought it was super creative, super colorful and fun and very innovative. And he had that magic that, I know it's not a Pixar film, it's a Disney film, but it kind of had that Pixar thing in the sense that the what if, what if toys were alive? What, what is it like in the life from the point of view of bugs? What if that kind of Pixar, like what if? And, but it's Disney. So I think that's, that's very interesting. Uh, but you know, now Ralph is going to the internet. And this is something I've been talking to a lot of people. And many people had a problem with the emoji movie. I understand why, there are many reasons why not to think it's a great movie. A lot of people had a problem with the emoji movie because they said it was a commercial film that was trying to sell you stuff like Spotify, Just Dance, Instagram, YouTube, yada yada. Um, and my question was that, you know, Ralph going to the internet, it's going to all these parody websites. I mean, at least these are parodies and not actual names of like Instagram, Spotify, whatever. Uh, but they're going, I think, to Google or things like that. I've talked to people and they're like, no, since they're parodies, it's fine, it's more creative. But I honestly think it's quite similar, to be honest. But they're like, no, because the Emoji Movie was just cash grab and this and that. Uh, I personally don't mind it. I mean, if they put a name of a brand, even if they just went Amazon, I wouldn't mind. I think, I think it's just cool to like see how these animation people can come up with a world from a new perspective and something that is relatable to us. So I think I don't mind at all. But I was okay, most are parodies, but there are, there's one place that Ralph is going. This is kind of like a spoiler. I mean, if you don't want to know anything about Record Ralph, then skip to this part. But in D23, which is a Disney convention, they showed a cli some clips of Record Ralph too. And there's one clip that was very famous with the audience, which is a historical moment, if you ask me. It's all the Disney princesses, well, not all of them, but many Disney princesses are in the All My Disney website and they interact with one another and Vanellope. And it's the actual voices of each of these princesses. Like, it's actually something really epic. We've seen so many YouTube videos that are really famous, like Disney princesses, are party, Disney princesses, hipster, like you've seen so many videos on YouTube of like the Disney princesses all together and I kind of love that Disney's doing this, I think it's really cool but again some people have had problem with this but I think on the other hand I think it's something really cool and I'm excited to see it. like everyone's like oh and it's so funny and this and that I'm like I didn't get to see it, I really want to see it so, but yeah again all my Disney is an actual website that Disney owns and so that kind of connects a bit with the Emoji movie the fact that they're promoting themselves a little bit I don't mind that honestly but my question was if people will mind that I really don't I'm just very curious about this film we haven't had even a teaser trailer for this like not even that so we only had a poster and that's it and it's coming out this year so I just really want to know more. I don't feel as much I can talk about this film. Here's like how he's gonna get into the computers. Why is his reason to go into the websites? And while he's gone, is his game still going? And my question is, maybe, maybe it's this that the arcade games are disappearing, and maybe they're they're shifting to like video games on computer. You know how you have like, I don't know. There's like well, back when I was a kid, you would go to a, a website and there was just like little games kind of like that you could play. So maybe he's doing a transition there. I don't know. This, that's maybe a reason, but like, you know, if he's gone from his game, it's the same issue as the first film. So 
We'll see, we'll see. Um, you know, Disney's have been doing such a great job in coming up with original films for a while now. Tangle, Big Hero 6, Zootopia, um, Wreck-It Ralph, Frozen, like a lot of films, Moana, a lot of films all at the same time. And now they're deciding to do sequels for Frozen 2, Wreck-It Ralph, and I'm like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. Honestly, I, I just wish we had a more original stuff because they've been doing so, like I feel like we're going through like a renaissance kind of um, with this new era which some great films have come up in this year so the next one is The Grinch from Illumination Studios sorry and this studio is kind of like a bitter sweet love hate relationship I have with this studio because I absolutely love the first Despicable Me 1 and 2 my favorite one is the second one I think the second one is one of my favorite films actually um, but then I really dislike the third one and if you've seen my video, I'll leave it in the description below. Then uh, I really liked the Lorax. I had a cool message. But again, also you have minions, which they were completely fine as sidekicks, but I don't think it was necessary to have a whole film about them. And they're coming up with a sequel also, which why? <laughs> Some sidekicks to just stay as sidekicks. But going back now, they did the Lorax, and it's from Dr. Seuss. And now they're doing The Grinch. The Grinch is an actual classic for many from the books. I know that the actual film with Jim Carrey, the live action, it's, you know, a very big classic that many people watch during Christmas. I'm not a huge fan of the actual film, but... So I'm very curious on to... just gonna maybe continue with more Dr. Seuss mo uh, movies because the books are very famous. And it makes sense, but the Lorax didn't make that much money, so I was a bit surprised that they chose The Grinch. The Grinch is... A Again, very, very famous. And from what I've seen in the poster, the Grinch kind of looks tiny and kind of adorable. But then just, he gets meaner. And I then I saw another picture of him getting older. And that's, I think, him, whatever. But he looks a lot like the, the live action one, which I think is really cool. Uh, like, why is the younger version of the Grinch in the poster? I don't know. I thought it was kind of cute. Again, I don't know how much they're going to keep from the original, from the live action. I've never actually read the book. I should kind of like see it and kind of um, get more information about that. Again, we don't even have a trailer for this. Hope to react to it soon on my channel. But I I'm actually excited. I think it's going to be very cute. Tony is doing a Spider-Man movie and I'm myself not a Spider-Man fan. Like I did really like Spider-Man. Spider-Man Homecoming, that's the only Spider-Man film I watch. I, I don't consider myself like I haven't read the comic books, I haven't uh, seen the original movies. But the trailer looks very interesting, I love the animation, the colors are really cool and yeah, I don't want to spoil everything but the Spider-Man is not Peter Parker, it's Miles Morales and I think it's really cool. Um, a new change, you know, so that people don't get it's a new story, you don't hear about the uh, same storyline and you know, origin story, this is a new guy. So that's interesting and fun and even though I'm not a Sony, I mean, I'm not a Spider-Man fan, I want to check it out. I think it's going to be quite impressive and a surprise for this year actually. Okay, okay, I have to talk about Sherlock Gnomes. Yes, you heard that right, Sherlock Gnomes. Okay, I wasn't a fan of the first one, but I did really like the music in the first one. Elton John put some great songs there because there were his, you know, some older so it's like dancing to it. And again, it's a cute concept. We've heard the Romeo and Juliet story like a hundred times, but this was so a, 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 a version I've never expected with, you know, garden gnomes. Uh, and I thought the like, film was cute in some ways, but in no way I ever imagined there will be a sequel for this. Again, this is like the year of the sequels, honestly. And they're doing a Sherlock twist now because it's an old British and you know why not um, <laughs> and they have Johnny Depp as Sherlock which I'm kind of surprised because he's not that popular anymore I mean he is but some people are like do not like him anymore so kind of surprised they pick him to be the lead for this it actually looks quite cute to this film I'm actually I really want to see it <laughs> I know this sounds weird but I'm actually really curious and I think I don't know, I mean, Sherlock Holmes has always been a character that I found very interesting. I mean, the, sh the show with Benedict Cumberbatch is a huge success. I don't think it's gonna be an epic film, but I think it's just one film that's just gonna make you feel good and have a fun time. I'd really like the trailer. Thank you so much for watching. 
Uh, I'm trying this new thing. Uh, tell me if you like it, if not, that's cool. I usually do my channel's reactions of trailers and movie. Uh, reactions to animated films but you don't see them that often through the year but I want to post more more so I was thinking of reviewing films that have already been um, you know like classics like from the Disney Renaissance to from uh, DreamWorks like Shrek movies like any other studios and tell me if you're interested about that or if you just want to stick with my reaction to trailers and actual movies that are coming out this year I think it would be uh, a fun way to uh, be more present here on YouTube and also I really like reviewing films and yeah, why not? Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and if you want to hit the bell for notifications when I post for, you know, when this movies actually come up with trailers and I react to it and we talk about it. So make sure to also hit the uh, bell thing and to subscribe. Thank you again and I'll see you all very soon.